All right, another product feature release with Go High Level is the ability to create payment links with your product in Go High Level, even if you don't have a website. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to create them and how to use it in this video. Let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, we are in one of my sub accounts. Uh, this is my marketing agency. And as you can see here, there is the payment links right off the payment uh, menu right here. Uh, but before we go and create a payment link, let's go to products and I'm gonna show you how to create a product first. So it's just a matter of clicking on create product and then you're gonna toggle whether uh, to include in the online store or not. We're gonna assume that you're creating these payment links because you don't have a website. So we're gonna toggle this off, right? And then you're going to create the name of the product here or a service that you wanna get paid for. And then you're gonna put in the description here. And then you wanna make sure you upload a uh, an image which is uh, 1024 by 1024 pixel wide, okay? And then you're going to select either a physical good, digital good, or a service, right? And then here, this is where you put your pricing, whether it's a one-time or reoccurring, and then you put the price in here. And then if you wanna put any additional price description in here as well, that's where you will put it, right? So we're not gonna, we're just gonna discard this and we're gonna take a, we're gonna utilize this current uh, product that I have created with the, uh, as you can see, the image, and there are five pricing here associated with it. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the payment link. And over here is where you would um, look at all the links that, all the payment links that have been created. So all you do is click on this link. Um, I am not gonna go create one because there is one, there's no way to de delete it, but it just deactivated it. So what I'm gonna do is if you open up the create new payment link, it would show up like this. Now, you will go ahead and select the product, product that you've created. In this case, we've created the Google Gold Mine course, and then we're gonna select the price. Now, the price, um, I had, I told you I, I had the five different pricing levels, so I'm just gonna have here, um, you know, select the lifetime access with updates. And as you can see, this is reflected in the payment link and that's what people will see and that's the price that you have set for that specific product okay and then um, you have these two options where it says require customers to add a phone number uh, in certain instances you want to be able to get their phone number so that way uh, if you need to contact them uh, to give them additional access or to get more information um, you want to make sure that you include that uh, but not necessary, right? And then you want to collect customer's address. Now, if it's a physical product that they're ordering, you want to make sure that you get the address that you at least have a shipping information that you can uh, ship that product to, okay? And then there are different call to actions. There is the payment to pay, the book um, to donate as well, right? So we're going to just keep it at pay. And as you can see here, you may include the branding or you may just take it off. So the branding is going to be right here, powered by K Madison, and that, that's my agency. Okay. And then you want to toggle this on and off. If you toggle this to test, you can actually utilize Stripe's uh, testing uh, numbers and um, the credentials to, to a test run on payment authorizations, okay? So we're just gonna keep it live for now. And then uh, we're just gonna go and click save, right? And once you have this payment link, you're going to go back and you're gonna utilize this payment link right here. It's the link URL and you're just gonna click copy. That is the link that you're going to send to people, whether you, can, um, you wanna send it via email, text message, direct message. And then let me show you what that link, just gonna open up an incognito window and then we're good, gonna just paste it, okay, paste. And then click return. And as you can see here, there is the payment. And so 
now you have the ability to send a payment link. You don't have to direct people to a website to pay. You can send it directly through any sort of communication, email, text message, uh, through social media as well. Well, I hope this video was helpful so that you can send these payment links to get paid. You don't have to have a website. You're on your way to getting paid for your product and or services.